when many people uh, think of uh, cell therapy, so therapy from, uh, from stem cells, people think about cells which are going to be directly from them turned into, say, for instance, their heart cells or, for instance, their uh, uh, retinal cells or something like that. And that is, in fact, uh, how some of the first tri uh, trials are, are going to be done. And, uh, but in fact, that's not the, the kind of, of cell therapy which is most likely going to happen for large groups of people. It's much more likely, in fact, that people will be able to get cell therapies uh, from stem cells that are uh, essentially off the shelf. So we have banks of cells which have been carefully selected so that there's quality control, so that they have, uh, so that they, for instance, don't have any uh, genes that would cause tumors, and also that they have been selected because they have immune characteristics that make them more likely to be accepted by, by somebody. It would be very inefficient, for instance, to make uh, 20 or 30,000 uh, embryonic stem cells uh, for which you don't know uh, what the genetic background is. Uh, or it would be Im almost impossible to make iPS cells from all of those people. But because the people are pre essentially pre-made, they're carrying uh, this, this uh, condition, they're universal donors, they don't really know it even, and they've given blood or they've given samples to some sort of genetic bank and then they can be rapidly identified and then contacted and maybe just give a little bit of blood and use that blood to make now uh, iPS cells that can now grow uh, retinal cells, uh, heart cells, brain cells, cells that could be uh, used, uh, these, and these cell banks could be used over and over and over again. Human genetic diversity does play a role in this. Now, so, Japan and Shinya Yamanaka in, uh, in his lab in, in Japan has actually moved forward very, uh, very quickly on this and Japan is, is actually very well suited uh, essentially to pioneer this, this new technology of these universal donor uh, cell banks because J Japan is actually a relatively homogeneous population. It's essentially one island with a hundred or a set of islands with a hundred million people that are relatively uh, homogeneous with respect to their genetic background. And so these, the, so it's, it's actually estimated that they'll be able to make one bank that could potentially cover 80 or 90 percent of the Japanese population. It's going to be a bigger challenge, of course, for the rest of the world and for the United States in particular because we're much more genetically diverse. However, we, if we can learn from what they've learned in Japan and we can do it, say, for instance, more efficiently, there's no reason that we can't have a cell bank uh, that covers a, a large majority, perhaps 90% of our population, but it's just going to be much more difficult than what they're doing in Japan.